Hello guys, welcome back to another video where we are going to look at the modern work center widget for page builder module. The modern work center introduced in agile point NX version 8.0 received a lot of customer accolades and appreciation. Its quick adoption speaks volumes about its usefulness and how much our customers loved it. One of the key strengths of work center has been the ability to customize and embed it in your own portal pages. As part of Agile Point NX version 8 software update 1, I am pleased to announce the new Work Center widget in Page Builder, which provides the ability to embed and to create customized version of Work Center in a portal pages. Customers can even create project specific Work Center, which can show up on landing pages for that project. The web page built using the Page Builder module can include all sorts of organization specific content along with the Work Center. Let's look at this in action. So I'm going to navigate to page builder. I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to just call it modern work center. Now in this case, I'm adding this widget to a brand new page, a fresh page. It could have been an existing page as well. I'm going to click on add a new row, add widget. Now what you see over here is the old work center, which we call as work center classic. It is still there. It has been branded as classic over here. So for customers who are using the classic work center can still embed that version. And now you see the work center version, which is pointing to the modern work center. We recommend customers using the modern work center going forward as much as possible. I'm going to go ahead and click work center over here. Now next, it shows me the properties panel where I can select what kind of views do I want to expose in the work center. Now, right now it is showing me all the out of the box views. It will also show you any custom views which have been defined, which I'm going to talk about in one of my subsequent videos. So for now, I'm going to say, show me all the views or maybe I'm going to say, don't show me the external apps in this. Now, what would be the tab orientation is the next selection, whether you want to put the tabs at the top in the navigation tabs horizontally or vertically. So I'm going to put it horizontally initially. Then based on what I have selected over here, which all tabs I have selected, it shows me configuration properties for those tabs. So let's go over those one by one. I'm going to uh, expand overview. So overview just has the tab name. I can customize it if I want it. For the task view, you can change the tab name. You can say, don't show me the toolbar where I can switch uh, various views like my, my task, my department's task. So if you want to hide it, you can do that. What is your default task view? So I'm going to say my task is my default task view. You want the task to be grouped by status by default. So all those options are available, same as what you see in work center. And whether you want to enable the grid view or not. So I'm going to say enable grid view. Similarly, on the process tab, you can, you can rename it, you can hide the toolbar, you can set the default process type. I'm going to say by default load the processes I started. The default view would be my processes and the filter criteria just show me the running ones. Next. I'm going to look at my apps over here. Again, the same kind of settings which you see, whether you want to group the apps by category, whether they are sorted alphabetically or by release dates, whether you want to see all apps or only specific kind of applications. Delegations, you can change the name over here. And similarly for statistics, you can say either hide the toolbar or what would be the default statistic types and views. So I'm going to just go with defaults for now. I'm going to click on add. So as you can see, the widget got added. I can resize it as per my needs. So I'm going to resize it. So in my case, I wanted to resize it so that it shows me the entire content, but you could, you could just keep a fixed height and you can say uh, there will be a, uh, the section height would be fixed and you can have a scroll bar in that case. I'm going to go with the full view. 
over here. Now I can quickly save this and then do a quick preview. So as you can see, now the work center is loading for me in a custom page over here. And all the actions still work the same way. I'm going to navigate to tasks. Because I said enable grid view, it showed me the grid view uh, as a starting point. But most likely you might not want to enable the grid view. You can show the card view as a starting point. And same way other, other tabs uh, appear as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this one. I'm going to put it in edit mode. Now what I'm going, uh, what I also want to do is I'm going to put the widget in edit mode. I'm going to turn this into a vertical tab orientation and I'm going to say now by default do not enable the grid view as the default view for both processes and tasks and I'm going to go ahead and do save and close so now you can see that the tab orientation has changed to vertical so I'll go ahead and click save and then do a preview so now you can see they are, uh, the tabs are vertically aligned and if I click on tasks, it now loads the card view first. Now that was if I was creating a new page. I could always go back to one of my sample pages over here add a new row and I can add the same widget in line along with the rest of my content as well. Typically people just give work center a dedicated page and a menu option to navigate to that. You, you could still go ahead and add it among all the, all the other uh, content on your page. So with this you can create customized work center pages for different projects as well. You can put various filters which are specific to that project and expose it on project specific landing pages. Thanks a lot for your time.